Congratulations on your acceptance to Gonzaga University. In this video, we will show you how to access and understand your financial aid offer. You will use Zagweb to view and accept your financial aid offer. Zagweb is Gonzaga's student portal. When you are a student, you can also use Zagweb to view your class schedule, submit a timesheet if you are working on campus, and check your Bulldog Bucks balance. Don't be alarmed if you don't have the same tiles as you see here. Zagweb might look a little different depending on your program and other permissions. Once you've logged into Zagweb, select the Financial Aid tile. You'll be directed to the Home tab. Here, you'll see any completed and or outstanding requirements you may have for financial aid. Click the Award Offer tab at the top of the screen. You'll notice help text available throughout the page if you have questions along the way. Here, you'll see your expected enrollment status, full-time or part-time, as well as your housing status on or off campus. If you've submitted a FAFSA application, your EFC will show up in the Expected Family Contribution section. If you scroll down to cost of attendance, you'll see items broken down into billable and non-billable items. Billable items are items that Gonzaga charges you annually. Items such as tuition and fees are examples of billable items. If you're living on campus, housing and food will be under here. Estimated book costs, average loan fees, and transportation are all examples of non-billable items. If you're living off campus, housing and food will be under here. Scrolling to the next section, we'll see any grants or scholarships you are eligible for. This will give you a breakdown of how much money you can save if you choose to accept these. Under net cost, you will see the total net price of attending Gonzaga. This is the sum of the billable and non-billable items, minus any grants and scholarships you are eligible for. In the next section, options to pay net cost, you can find options to pay for attending GU, like loans and work study. Not all students will have work-study funds in their financial aid offer, but there are lots of opportunities to work on campus even if it wasn't a part of your financial aid offer. You can accept loans and work in Zagweb under the Take Action column. You'll also have the option to modify the amount of the offer by clicking the Modify button. In the last section, Additional Payment Options, you can add outside scholarships under Other Payment Resources. Outside scholarships are scholarships from outside of Gonzaga, such as your local Rotary Club or a scholarship from a community foundation. Once you enter the scholarship's description, term, and amount, Gonzaga will review the additional payment. If the scholarship is approved and confirmed, it will appear in the Additional Payment Options section. If you accept or decline any of your financial aid offers, be sure to hit submit. We hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, please contact one of our financial aid counselors. We hope to see you on campus this fall. Go Zags!